seeing yes. one of my friends live for a a Topher Spin Meteorites live check in for a meteorite hunt in Brazil. Uh, it is t today is uh, the twenty seventh of August, and on August nineteenth, so just uh, a week and a day ago in Brazil at 10 o'clock in the morning, a bolide event happened. Uh, it was witnessed by a lot of people, 10 o'clock in the morning, and um, one of our friends, Roberto Vargas, has been there for about three days now, uh, hunting the meteorites, um, making contacts with the locals, and just getting absorbed in the Brazilian culture. So we're, we are going to go live right now to our buddy, Roberto Vargas, who is out in Brazil hunting one of the world's freshest meteorites. Welcome. Thanks for joining us, Roberto. How's it going, guys? So um, I'm out of the car, so for some reason, like, the audio isn't that great. Are you guys hearing me well? Yep, I will let you know if we have any difficulties whatsoever. Sounds good. So this is uh, kind of like the outskirts of Santa Filomena. Um, and that is actually number five, is actually the house that got hit um, by the house smasher. It was uh, I believe 469 grams. It um, smashed through the roof behind the uh, satellite over there. And it uh, actually just missed the, um, the lady that was sleeping there uh like minutes before like she she had just walked out and she heard a bit loud crash and then uh they found the meteorite on the bed with um pieces of the slate kind of uh just broken through so this is kind of the back of the house. It's kind of hard to see with the sun. But interestingly enough, when they, after the meteorite crashed through, they knew nothing about the value of like the shingles and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So the, they just replaced it and threw their shingles like right around here. Oh man, please uh, tell me someone picked up, you picked them up? Obviously, uh, those tiles are no longer there. <laughs> uh, I got a piece and I know that uh, Mike bought the Hammerstone and uh, most of the tiles. And that's Mike Farmer. Unbelievable, but thousands of people have been rushing to a very remote area in Santa Flomina in the northeastern portion of Brazil after hundreds of chunks of a huge meteorite began to fall like rain from the sky. Matter of fact, up to 200 fragments of the meteorite have been found so far that fell on August the 19th of this year and have been found so far, and there may be much more left. They believe there is. And so people are scouring the area there. Matter of fact, the biggest piece weighs 40 kilograms and is worth $26,800. But what is the prophetic uh, implications of this? What is the this, a prophetic sign about this? Um, now, if you think about it, what is $26,800 worth in Brazil? Well, it's, it's the same as 10 years worth of average salary in that area. 
So this is huge, okay? Now, locals living in the town now refer to the meteorite storm as a miracle and the day when uh, money fell from the sky. But prophecy viewers can see a prophetic resemblance of this and as part of history, biblical history, and prophetic prophecy. Now, most of the biggest rocks were found around the church. Can you imagine this? Most of the biggest rocks were found around the church in that area, further convincing the locals that this rare meteorite was sent by God. Well, probably so. But was it for maybe a blessing to some, but could be a sign of the end of days for others? Within hours of the rocks falling, meteorite hunters traveled to the town from other parts of Brazil, as well as professional collectors from the United States and Uruguay. And a team of four scientists from Brazil's National Museum in Rio de Janeiro trying to negotiate a price for the biggest stone. They fear they won't be able to beat the price being offered by an American hunter and that that rare rock will be shipped out of Brazil. They're trying to buy it, but the American meteorite hunter is trying to get it first. Now, you know, Tony Silvestri is a meteorite hunter, and, uh, and I've been blessed. He's given me several meteorites and, and, uh, and uh, precious stones that have fallen. Uh, recently, he gave me a pretty good size one that's called a Rocky. It's because it's 75% earthen and 25% iron. Um, and then uh, just the other day, he gave me a, a smaller one. You can fit in the palm of your hand, but that one was pure iron and uh, it was very heavy for such a small rock very rare too because uh, they fall from the heavens you can imagine so we know that there's something going on here but now if we go to the bible to find out is there some prophetic revelation here well first of all you do need to know that in the days of lot during the days of sodom and gormai and i just talked about this in my last video as it relates to earthquakes but there's also references to a sign of the end days by the fire and brimstone or certainly meteor meteorites and brimstone falling from heaven and the bible says that the angels of the lord uh told Lot, you got to get out of here. You got to get out of Sodom because God's going to destroy the city. And they said to him uh, in verse 22, I'm in Genesis chapter 19, verse 22, haste thee, escape hither, for I cannot do anything till thou become hither. Therefore, the name of the city is called Zor. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zor. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and Gormiah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities that were which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. Now, when these meteorites fell out of the sky in Brazil, they came down with fire. Because as they're entering into the Earth's atmosphere, they went through an intense refiner's fire, if you will. Uh, but they survived that and still made it down to the Earth's surface in Brazil. And uh, they also was uh, inundated with radiation as well, something you need to understand. But some very prophetic signs, when we're starting to see now more and more meteorites falling from the sky. Now, if you remember what Mike from around the world said, that soon we're going to hear of more and more meteorites falling from the heavens, including fireballs that will be seen, and of course then impacts that will be larger than normal. Soon fires will break out in many different places, and everyone will know the heavens are shaking, and that this is causing. What's causing it? Well, uh, Emmanuel Velikovsky Emmanuel wrote the book Worlds in Collision, in which 3,600 years ago it's documented that during the plagues of Egypt, during the time of three days of darkness, during the times that the water the River Nile turned blood red, the time of lice, flies, frogs, locusts, even brimstone and hail fell and destroyed crops. There was all kinds of plagues in those days, the flies, a lot of stuff. Uh, but one thing for sure, that's the plagues of Egypt recorded in the Bible, in the book, of, in the Torah, in the Old Testament. But also it's recorded by the Egyptian uh, hieroglyphics, recorded the great plagues of Egypt. It was recorded by the Mayan Indians in North America or in uh, Central America. Uh, what happened uh, as well during that same time period. It was also recorded by the Peruvians and by the Incas and Aztecs and other Native Americans in, the, in, in this part of the Western Hemisphere, but also in China and in uh, European uh, uh, documentation of tremendous events, earthquakes, volcanoes, tsunamis, uh, hailstones, uh, meteorites crashing all over the earth. And so this was a sign of the first plagues of Egypt. Many believe that this was when planet X or Nibiru or planet number nine, whatever you want to call it, way out there on the outskirts of our solar system, was passing by. I want to welcome about 1,000 of you with us live uh, spontaneously. Thank you guys for being here. These things were being recorded, and so we know that. Now, Jesus speaks about, at just 2,000 years ago, of another time, a time of the soon coming, when he would return, when we can look, lift up our heads, look up, your redemption draweth nigh. And he says that there will be all kinds of apocalyptic events going on. Matter of fact, the book of Joel prophesies of the end of days and says there will be blood and fire and pillars of smoke and the sun will be darkened and the moon will turn to blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord will come. Also, we can read about Amos talks about uh, these, uh, the sun will be turned to darkness at noonday in the book of Amos. We can read about these uh, different events that are going to create uh, more and more stones. Uh, the Bible talks about in the book of uh, Revelation, chapter 11, that there will be hail stones that weigh as much as a talent or 75, somewhere between 50 and 75 pounds, not just hail, but also meteorites uh, coming down mixed with the hail and fire. And so we read about these in the book of Revelation. So I, I tell people, get prepared. Understand the time you're living in because these signs are going to be everywhere. As it was in the days of Lot, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. As it was in the days of Noah, 
so shall it be. So again, we continue to watch the apocalyptic events taking place, and I want to prepare people. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Start to notice the things that are happening. Look at the riots. Look at the cities that are out of control now. Look at the hatred. Look at the evil. Look at the vengeance. Uh, all these things. It's as if the, 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 the cities have come to a point now where God's judgment is soon to follow, not just in uh, different parts of the world, but America as well. Some of these places, God is not pleased with the injustice of absolute insanity. People running through the streets, burning down businesses, damaging and creating chaos and looting and uh, of violence. And the injustices also that are taking place and the corruption in governments all around the world and the, and the wickedness and the mentality that has lost the, any, any, it's, it's, a, it's a mob mentality, really. It's a mob mentality. And innocent people are being murdered. 